Hey fellow explorers, it's Chris from TDR Explorer. And today I'm gonna to go over the today guide they have for July here at Tokyo Disneyland. I'm gonna show you everything they have going on for the summer festival. Here is the front of the today guide for Tokyo Disneyland and it's from July 8th until 31st. And you can see it has Mickey on the cover and he's wearing his outfit that he's wearing in the summer show. And as every Today Guide, there is a hidden Mickey. It's over on this side. <laughs> All right, let's take a look inside. So first up with this show, you are gonna get wet and possibly even soaked. And it, down in the bottom here, they kind of show you the wet zones. So you can see the top up here, Cinderella's Castle. So you can see it kind of the show comes in from both both ends and they kind of circle around the hub area. And the pink area has the three drops. That is where you're gonna get the most wet. So of course in front of the castle and then these points here. And then the orange, you're gonna get pretty wet. So over here, this is uh, near the partner statue actually. And then over here uh, on this side. And then the yellow, you're gonna get a, you know, you're gonna get a misting. And you're probably gonna get, you know, some drops of water because they do spray into the crowd, like little, little hoses of water. So just keep that in mind when you're watching. And there is no lottery for this part of the show. Uh, in previous years they had, they would do a lottery for this, but this year they're not doing it. So it's a first come first serve. So make sure you do watch it. And they do have ponchos you can buy if you don't want to be soaked all day. But in the summer heat, you're probably going to dry off pretty good anyway. But make sure you have your electronics covered. And over here, this is just showing some of the decorations that's happening around the park. So at the top there, you got Mickey, and this is in the World Bazaar. This is really cool. Make sure you watch it because it actually does a little light show in the evening, and there's music and everything. They've been doing that a lot lately. Um, over here, this is just showing uh, that like these little summer festival booths, um, which look like the booths that you find at traditional Japanese summer like festivals. So you can there's um, a little lottery where you can win a prize, and there's also uh, the booths where you can actually get some of the food, which I'll talk about later. And then over here, this is more information. This is talking about the electrical parade, which actually is renewed. They added some new floats and updated some. So they re-added the Beauty and the Beast float, which is updated, and they updated the Cinderella float, and they added a Frozen float, and that has started already. So make sure you go and you make sure you watch it because it's a really good show. And the Pirates Mystery, I explained this already in our last video, so you can go back and watch our June video to get more information on that. And this is just more about Camp Woodchuck. And then just other things here. Um, the Star Jets is closing. And they, they have a special merchandise and stuff that's going to be happening starting on August 1st. So, and we, we have more information on this on our website as well. So you can go check that out. Lots of new merchandise happening. Your wallet is gonna cry, I guarantee it. Uh, let's start down here. Down here we have, there's a bunch of towels. Uh, these are these are great to like, I know it sounds counterintuitive, it's hot, you're gonna wear a towel, it's just gonna make you more warm. Well, it helps with the summer shows when you're getting sprayed and also just from sweating so much, it's just nice to be able to wipe that off. And of course, look cute doing it. So you have a bunch of different designs you can choose from here. So you're going to find one that you, you enjoy. Um, up here, they have some tropical fruit merchandise, which is actually available at both Disneyland and Disney Sea. And you can see that this, this really cute um, watermelon dress. And of course, Mickey and Minnie uh, dressed as a pineapple and watermelon. And we've got some watermelon cookies. I'm going to have to get those. And over here we got some sunglasses. 
all these different glasses. Some of these have been around for a while and some of them they've uh, just brought out recently. And these are fashion glasses, so if you need glasses, well, these probably aren't going to really do anything. <laughs> I can't buy them because I need my glasses. Um, over here we got some food themed stationery. And you can get this at the House of Greetings right in the World Bazaar. So this is not all of it, there's a lot more so you can go and browse through there and yeah, you're probably going to spend all your money. Uh, down here, uh, just some of the sweets. I, I believe I talked about this last, um, last video as well. So we'll just quickly go over that. And up here, probably the most important thing of all, the summer merchandise. I'm going to have a full video on our YouTube channel. So make sure you keep an eye out for that. So I'm just going to quickly go over all of some of this. This isn't all of it. This is just highlights. So up here we got Mickey and Minnie in their Sansui outfits. And we've got some Chip and Dale glasses. Oh my goodness. I had to stop myself from buying these because they're just so cute. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, whatever. <laughs> well, we have this Apple um, mini towel. The Chip and Dale. Um, we have this little pass case. That's super cute. Chip and Dale. Oh my goodness. Um, we have this um, ramen candy. Uh, ramen is a Japanese drink that um, you usually drink in the summer. Mainly children. Uh, and then we got some chocolate crunches here. And Chip and Dale keychains. They should really just rename this to the summer of Chip and Dale. Really. And then we got some Chip and Dale socks. Dipped banana. <laughs> and we got these cute little lights. And we got a headband, if, you're, if you love headbands. Again, Chip and Dale. I'm sensing a theme. And then again, again, more Chip and Dale stuff. Because you can't have enough Chip and Dale. And there's even t-shirts. I did buy this. And down here we got more Chip and Dale stuff. That is so cute. So this is the lottery that I was talking about, which you'll find in the um, in the hub area, just outside the World Bazaar. So you pay 500 yen and you can win one of these prizes. The line does get rather long, so make sure you go and line up early. You can see right here, it's A and B on the map here. And of course, it's not an event without food. We got this banana, uh, banana cream cake, and it comes with the Chip and Dale plate. And again, you don't have to get the plate, you can get it without, and it does make it a little bit cheaper. And over here we got this apple dessert, again with a souvenir cup. And we have a candy case, you can get this at the refreshment corner, along with this special hot dog. It's actually really good. Um, it, it has like curry flavor and cheese and stuff. It's quite nice. Um, over here, just another special set. You can get the um, at the Plaza Pavilion restaurant. And a little lunch case that you can get at the Sweetheart Cafe. So that's quite nice. And then over here, we have this ice cream. Um, matcha flavored. You get that ice cream cone and then we have another sparkling drink then get this at Pecos Bills or Captain Hook's Galley and I mentioned this earlier uh, the top there you can get there's this um, Ramune drink which is the sugary sugary drink and it comes with a really cute bottle and then we have this colorful ice they call it it's basically dip and dots these are really good so you better better get them and then of course Japanese summer is not complete without shaved ice we have all these different flavors of shaved ice, like there's strawberry here, and then we have Mikan, and then we have strawberry milk. Oh my goodness. And we have pear, and then of course we have this one here with matcha and the azuki bean, which is like a sweet bean, and it has the little green alien mochi on it. And they have these at a variety of places throughout the park, and they also have uh, different ones at Disney Sea. All right, so that is what's going on and new at Tokyo Disneyland for July 2017. All right, fellow explorers, thank you so much for joining me as I showed you what's going on here at Tokyo Disneyland for their summer festival in July. 
And remember, you can pick this up right at the turnstiles when you come into the park. If you want to learn more, you can visit our website at tvrexplorer.com. And don't forget to subscribe to us here on YouTube. All right, Explorers, until next time.